Yes. What what a brilliant, brilliant time the Kill Connor Club's been. I'm so excited for this year. I mean, it's going to be big. Like, I, I just see yeah, it. It's going to be amazing. The growth being so huge. And the movie Having back at the, the end main of the channel. Year and, yeah. Oh, back well. on the main channel. My God. Don't It'll get a great. fucking strike again or I'll kill you. Seriously. Um, <laughs> I'll do my best. So, I think we've put it off long enough. Um, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Hang on, hang on. One thing beforehand. <clears throat> okay. Um, because <laughs> I'm just reading the chat. Okay. Jesus Christ, everyone's still going off on Game and Sheep. Did you, Tyler, did you ask Corey if you can tell that embarrassing Tyler's tales? If not, tell him now, because I need to know this story. Oh, that story. I'll message Corey right now. Just hang on one sec. Oh, and so we've got is BPR this, this here. This told me, right? Hey, yeah. you told me after the Luma stream. Yeah, yeah, I've, t- I've told you this one. That was a fantastic yeah. story. So we've got BPR, Super Rebel, and Ethan here. We've got all our boys here. I love oh, it. I'm so, so hyped. Oh, we need now is Brett. What the fuck's Brett? Brett's always here. Okay. Actually, what time is it over there? In in he's on the e- e west coast, so pretty fucking. No, he's on the east coast. I thought he lived in. Is he? Okay, shit. I don't he's know, in shit. Florida. Okay. Flo- oh, okay. Yeah. I don't it's know. Like... Shit. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's seven thirty a.m. for him. Yeah, pretty so... fucking early on a Sunday. Yeah, so he's not gonna. Okay. So I'll ask Corey, but until then, let's talk about Assassin's Creed, I guess. Oh yeah. Um, so, yeah, because I haven't even talked about this on the channel. Like, I kept putting it off. I'm like, oh, I'll do one. Uh, I'll do this rumor discussion later. I'll just kind of put it off. Now I'm just probably yeah. going to upload it as, like, this video right now. Like, just this segment of the podcast. Okay. Yeah. So, <clears throat> essentially, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of rumors going around. I don't know much about them. <laughs> but... Supposedly 2016, no Assassin's Creed game. 2017, the game's going to be set in Egypt. Yes. And supposedly that's because of the poor response of Unity that led to, and this is the this is the this is the kicker here. This is really what counts: the poor sales of Syndicate due to Unity. Ubisoft don't give a shit that we didn't like Unity. It's because Syndicate sales <laughs> are a bit down, and they're like, "Oh fuck, maybe we should do something about it." Because the only thing that matters to them is their fucking ass pocket. Their wallet, which is no offense to Ubisoft, it's just a business. That's how it works. And now, do we believe that? Because Kotaku's reporting it, but they're not reporting it like it's with any evidence other than I've heard from sources anonymous. Yeah, it was something on 4chan, which is tricky. So I mean, I don't know. The whole thing is literally just a rumor. And Ubisoft commented on it. They were like, I mean, there was there was there were two rumors. There was the Egypt one, which Ubisoft commented on, and said like. Uh, we can't comment on rumor speculation. Uh, watch the fucking movie, and then uh, there was the one about being set in ancient Rome, which Ubisoft said nothing about. And I think that's a load of bullshit. So I've I made one video on that, but it, I think that's a load of sh- shit to be honest. Uh, if I'm gonna go with a rumor, it'll be the Egypt one, I think. But even so, well, look, they're both amazing settings, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, but is it real? That's my real question. Do you think it's real? No, I don't. I, I don't know. I just, I still can't, I d- won't believe it till I see it that they're not putting out a game this year. Yeah. That's what I find hard to believe. Yeah, that's, it seems, it seems strange. I mean, if they do, then that's fantastic and I'm completely for that. But, like, like, like BPR said here, real quick, um, after the Unity and Syndicate leaks uh, from Kotaku, it kind of seems very realistic because they leaked um, Unity which was real. Then they leaked Syndicate, well, Victory, which was real. I mean, I don't know. See, the, the thing is, with Unity, when it was leaked, Ubisoft put out a trailer, and they were like, this is real. Unity's real. Sorry it got leaked, but we'll put out a trailer now. Then when Victory was leaked, they said, yeah, this, this is a real thing. And they were like, sorry it got leaked, but yeah, we're developing a new game, blah, 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 blah. Then with this one, they've been like, sorry, can't comment on rumor and speculation. So does that mean this one's real? Or not? Um, well, Going they don't. The they don't have to confirm no screenshots sh- or anything. Well, they so. don't have to confirm shit because the difference is, um, mm-hmm. there's no evidence this time. 
Yeah. That's the big that difference. That makes sense. I mean, but does, does that mean it's real or fake? Because there was evidence with Unity, evidence with Victory. Why didn't the guy that leaked it just get some fucking evidence to go along with it? Like... Um... Well, I uh, because it's bullshit. I don't know. Like uh... exactly. So I honestly, we we can't like with Unity and with Victory. There is way higher chance that those were real because you could see the screenshots from development. Like yeah, yeah, you knew that. Was so real. that's the thing. But with this, you've got no like nothing to back it up with. It's kind of just this guy's word. You're taking his word for it, and it's like, well, nobody fucking knows. So I don't know. Super Rebels just tweeted out the stream, so uh, people are I just coming on, keeping on saying, I came from Super Rebel, Super Rebel sent me. Thanks, guys. Oh, yes, we have Super Rebel fanboys. Oh, shit, I sent them all away, didn't I? Yeah, you've done no, it. come back, guys, come back. <laughs> we love you. Welcome to Kill Connor Club. This is the place where we talk about Just Cause 3, I promise. <laughs> Eventually. I've actually been playing... No, I won't get on Just Cause 3 just yet. I might talk about that later, but... Um, uh, now nah, we'll definitely talk about later. We totally have to tell them that we'll talk about just course so they fucking stage it. Like well, we well we actually will for for reasons, but <laughs> um, I mean we're mid Assassin's just Creed. Just, we're mid Assassin's Creed discussion. We we are, but I just want to know: Did you get just Jesus Christ? Lots of people. Just, yeah, yeah. I've fucking been playing the shit out of it. Like Fallout Four and Just Cause Three, I got like within like two days of each other. It's been Jesus. All right. Jesus Christ! Look how many people can, are watching since about... Super Rebel tweeted out. Oh, that's crazy! Thanks a bunch, bro. That is super helpful. Cheers. Super great for the for the start of um, uh, fucking whatever it's called. Um, oh, are you streaming as well? I think I think he is. Yeah, he's streaming oh, as well. Oh Jesus Christ! I didn't know. Then why did you send them here? Yeah, why what, would you what not want to do it? Okay, so Super Rebel yeah, streaming. So go that, watch so Super Rebel streaming. Just go over there, like his stream. You know, whatever. Spam him with uh, hashtag your content. <laughs> Hashtag kill Connor Club sent us. But don't um, leave us. Yeah, but for sure don't leave us. For sure stay. Um, um yeah, cheers for that. That's super super cool. So anyways. Also Yeah, people like people are talking about with this leak, like there's no evidence for or against this. Like it's just a rumor. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's so like I find it tough. Like I get that Kotaku has a lot of insiders. Uh and I get that they could definitely hear things and be able to say, look, I've heard from several people inside Ubisoft, but at the same time, it could be just a fuckhead saying that. And, exactly. You know, they... Legally, they can put, say that shit because they don't have to prove any sources because, like, oh, it's anonymous. You know, like... So it's tough. I, I won't believe it till I see it is the, is the real honest truth because I, I can't see them just yet <clears throat> waiting an extra year. But mm -hmm. it doesn't mean they won't. Like, it's, again, there's no evidence for or against it. I'm, I like the setting Egypt. I think it would be awesome, historically. But does that mean it would be... Does that mean it would be good Assassin's Creed-wise, is another thing? Because you think of cities, you think of building sizes. Would it be good to free run? What direction are they going with it? What's it going to be like? That's the real question, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, because people have said, like, oh, ancient Egypt, we're gonna... You know the one thing that I fucking hate? Is people like, how are we gonna leap of faith off the pyramids? Guess what? We're not gonna leap of faith off the fucking pyramids. It's not gonna happen. Like... Well, yeah, you're right. We definitely won't. I did think about that, actually. I hadn't seen anything It's literally impossible. That. Like, you can't leap of faith off the pyramid. No one can You'll leap just have to far. slide down it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I think if the pyramids were to be included in the game, it would would be like at the end there'd be like a temple or something i don't think there'd be like this place you can freely explore kind of like rome at the end of 82 well i think you'll I be like i think i reckon one will be you'll be able to leap of faith because it won't be finished and you might be able when to... were they finished i don't know well if the game's set while they're being any of them are being built you know what i mean it depends when it's set possibly possibly because we don't even know that so yeah, BPR bullshit. said we may get something around March time. Isn't that when we're supposedly going to get a trailer for the movie? When? A March time. That was a thing. Is I remember, okay. was it something Brett covered on his channel? He was like, possibly getting a trailer for the movie in March. I'm not sure why he knew it, and I can't really remember it was a while ago, but... Possibly? Possibly? Yeah, well, I mean... 
the movie's wrapped in now as well. So yeah, that's it's happening. There's no going back. <laughs> it's a thing, but like, so do you think for the next Assassin's Creed game, if it's gonna be set to it, not set, sorry, if it's gonna come out 2017, do you think they'll start announcing it this year, or they'll wait until beginning of next year, like March, <laughs> okay. April time? Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. You're talking about Ubisoft. Yeah, yes, yeah, if it doesn't matter when the game's coming out, we will hear about it at the latest E3 this year, 2016. The only thing, though, that I that that the guy that leaked it said, um, which is really confusing. He was like, um, "Remember to screenshot this so you, you see that I'm right when uh, nothing from Assassin's Creed is shown at E3," which leads leads me to believe either they're not going to show it at E3, which sounds like load of bullshit yeah. always lying the whole thing is a lie like if one thing is out of place or wrong then the whole thing's gotta be a fucking lie surely as if ubisoft wouldn't like look at the division <laughs> they three threes ago and that's yeah, only yeah. coming out in like two months you know mm. they will announce it ahead of time because they want to build it up they're like guys we're taking our time on it here's what it looks like get hyped 100 percent they'll, they'll announce it it's like i don't buy the watchdogs I, i'm not a I can't imagine that... The only way I'd believe it is if Watch Dogs is coming out this year and Assassin's Creed won, if that yeah. makes sense. But at the same time, yeah. I feel like Watch Dogs would have been... An, actually, no, I don't. I was going to say, I, I would think Watch Dogs would have been announced already. But in this case, if they do do the kind of alternate Watch Dogs every second year, Assassin's Creed every other year, like from now on... Yes, they alternate and switch, yeah. Then possibly they won't do an announcement ahead of time because it'll be like Assassin's Creed games like they announce it each year yeah but yeah. even I then mean, I just oh, imagine th- in this case me. until they know how they're gonna do their new um, release schedule they would <clears throat> they would and still announce it early this time like they'd announce Assassin's Creed this year still but afterwards yeah. when it's like okay we get Watch Dogs this year and then the next Assassin's Creed comes out and then the year after oh Watch Dogs gets announced then and then next year Assassin's Creed gets announced so it's like to start with they're hyping everything yeah. but then when they kind of get into the groove it just becomes a regular thing of we hear about it at the start of the year releases at the end of the year